In this video, I'm going to talk to you about a base coverage that I really like against several different formations in Madden 23. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, if you guys want to, I'm going to be talking today about the 46 playbook, specifically about the 3-3 Cub defense. And if you want to get my full 3-3 Cub defensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. I really believe that the 3-3 Cub is a game-changing defense this year. I believe it's going to help you significantly defending a lot of the meta formations. I believe that it has some of the better sheds in the game that's kind of underrated. I also believe that the pressure from 3-3 Cub is significantly affects the current meta in the fact that it's able to basically force the dumb out the running back and we teach you how to do that in the ebook. Now the other thing that I want to talk about with 3-3 Cub as it pertains to the meta is this defense provides a lot, us a lot of options when it comes to coverage. And so again, if you want to get the full 3-3 Cub defensive ebook, make sure you're in our Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member of the Patreon, and you get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. We just dropped our 16th ebook of the Madden 23 season. So again, by becoming a member today, you're going to get access to all of that material. Okay, so like I said, I wanted to talk just briefly with you guys today about a coverage defense that I really like right now out of the nickel 3-3 uh, three, three Cub. And uh, let me just set a couple key, key audibles uh, here. We're going to go ahead and work. We're in the Pats offense uh, just so we can show a couple different uh, types of concepts that you're probably going to see. And here's your coaching adjustments that I would recommend for this. Uh, you're going to go into your coaching adjustments. What you want to do is you want to put your zone coverage on match. And then really important, you're going to take your flats and you're going to put them on five. If you you can put them on 10, but my personal recommendation is going to be to put them on five. Okay. Now what we're going to do in our nickel three, three cub is we're going to go ahead and put the cover four show two as our audible. And that's going to be the play that we're going to be focusing on for this material. Now we're going to come out in the nickel three, three. And the reason I want to suggest that you should be doing this is because you're not only going to get better personnel on the field and the fact that you can sub in safeties at linebacker, but you're also going to find that you're going to get significantly better adjustments for your defense, okay? Because you're going to be able to cross man and things like that. All right, so uh, we're going to audible down into the cover four show too. Now, what I like to do is you're always going to be using the middle linebacker, and I'm going to just wiggle him just a few steps just so that when I audible, there's no tell what coverage we're really in. So as you can see here, we're going to go ahead and audible into cover four show two. We're going to press... And then really simple, we're going to shade our coverage underneath and we're going to take this linebacker on the right side of the screen and you can kind of, again, however you want to adapt this, there's a couple key adjustments that I like to make. The first one is we're just going to put him in a vertical hook and crash our D-line out. And what you're going to see here is we're going to get pretty decent sheds and you're going to force them to basically have to take what the defense gives you, which in this example is they're going to have to throw a corner route either to the right or to the left side really to take advantage of this defense. So again, you see how simple the setup this is. And I want to be opposite of the running back every single time. Now, when we're defending gun bunch, one of the things that I want to encourage you to do out of this defense is to have some liberty in terms of your cross manning of your players, okay? So what we can do is we can take these two safeties and if there's not a receiver that's going to attack the seams on that side, we're actually just going to cross man the uh, slot receiver in the bunch because the slot receiver in the bunch is one of the most effective receivers uh, for this formation. So what this is going to do is let's say they run a flooding combination. You're going to see here that I'm not going to concern myself with that corner route. And a lot of times you see that the defense is able to hang pretty well uh, with this corner route. I'll take a look, show you in the replay here. But if you take a look here, you see how that cross man uh, really does a decent job. And then, of course, the quarters are going to help uh, significantly as well. What we want to do with this defense is this is a really, really good defense, especially if your opponent is into aggressive catching. Now, another setup that I like to do is we're going to go ahead and hard flat our linebackers. And then we're going to take that slot and we're going to man him up on the slot receiver. This is just going to help us in the fact that we're going to get, and then we're going to, we can hook curl this backside guy. So you see how we're kind of getting um, several different adjustments that you can create out of this. Uh, and you'll see here, so we got that guy manned up, so we don't have to really worry about him. And we're going to trust our man coverage. Man coverage this year is really good. Uh, but also I think cover four is one of the more underrated coverages uh, in this game. Now I want to show you how to apply the same basic uh, technique 
to defending for other formations such as U trips. Whenever you put your um, whenever you put your your uh, flats on five, what's going to happen is the underneath zones are not going to match, and the back half of this formation is it's not going to match like it normally would. Uh, for example, you'll see here like if it was normal if it was going to match like it normally would, then you know this um, like if I ran a slot crosser. Let's just say I did something like, um, let me see if I can go to curl flats. So something like this play right here, they would normally match R, RB or R1. And you're gonna see here that they, they are gonna kinda match him, but it's not gonna be the same style of match that you're familiar with from some of my match defensive eBooks. Now, if you wanna check out all my match stuff, again, that's all available on the Patreon as well. Um, but what I wanna show you is this. What I like to do against U trips is simply man the tight end up, and we're going to shade. Um, you know, you can you can shade underneath first or whatever, but we're going to man this tight end up because the tight end is really really important in this offense. Now, another thing that I think is really really important when you're defending U trips is if they want to motion, you need to have this guy in the inside quarter. So what we can do um, against a formation like this is if they're like this, then we're going to go ahead and do a defense that looks like this. However, I want you to pay attention here real quick. If they motion, let's say they motion Brown across the formation. Okay, they're going to motion him across. Now we're going to put that inside quarter back on the field. And then from there, we can now take this right side guy, for example, and put him in the yellow zone. So now we still have the same basic concept and we're just looking to lurk wherever we need to help uh, the defense out with. So you see how good of a coverage defense uh, this really is. And the sheds from 3-3 Cub, I think, are really pretty decent. And the beauty of this is, again, like I said, you don't have to put a yellow zone, by the way. Like, you could just do something like this. This is easy, and this is simple, and this is fine. And what you'll also notice is if I go ahead and man align, we'll show you here, that they will actually follow... Uh, they will actually follow this guy. So then in that example, you might want to do something like, you know, as their motion over, maybe do something like this. Um, and so now you see here that we give them a defensive look like this. We're going to help on the tight end. And you see how we're going to force them to, we're going to play kind of a bend but don't break style of defense. This paired with time, what I call timely uh, man pressures that are super, super effective at, you know, glitching out the running back make this 3-3 Cub formation a very powerful defense this year's game. Guys, I would really encourage you to check out our Patreon where we give you formation-specific adjustments, significant help on in terms of helping the pressure become way more hard to pick up, as well as different coverage adjustments that are really powerful and a complete tutorial on how to use different base coverages such as match coverage, zone coverage, man coverage, and some of the basic rules that you can have uh, for any defense. So if you want to check out my full nickel 3-3 cub defense, you're going to be able to stop the run, you're going to be able to stop the pass, you're going to be able to get pressure, you're going to be able to play coverage, you're going to be able to play match, you're going to have some of the best adjustments uh, that you can have in a formation. So there's a lot of value in our 3-3 Cup defensive ebook. And again, that's not the only thing you get by becoming a Patreon member. You get access to all of our other stuff as well. So thanks for watching the video and hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to check out our Patreon where you'll get access to all of our ebooks and all the updates, the link to sign up for that is in the description. And again, it's only 10 bucks to sign up. So thanks for watching the video and we hope to see you over at the Patreon page.